Kate Middleton scandal with a you know the doctored photo um, that it came out recently is just um, it's amusing on a variety of levels. Um, obviously, it's not amusing for her and the fact that she's probably getting blamed for it, even though that there was probably a team that um, was actually behind it and was, probably deserves the blame. But anyway, um, what I find funny about this particular topic is just. Um, the insanity that then sort of spurred out online and you know obviously there's always been um an hysterical interest in the british monarchy you know with you know you got the english tabloids that followed them around and there's plenty of examples of where that's led to bad <laughs> bad outcomes and all that sort of thing but this is like just yet another example but the thing maybe as a starting point on this topic is it's supercharged via social media and the amount of people doing tiktoks analyzing the um you know the the photo and where it's gone wrong and um, then speculating as to why this was done in the first place and and whatever it could have just been that you know um they they you know when they were shooting it with a with the pixel that gets that lets you um swap people swap people's heads around you know the whole thing is like they're all smiling together and you know the the joke being that um that we know it's fake because you can't get three kids to smile together at, at, at any one time <laughs> but um but i don't know i like to me that 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 is kind of like the crux of the interest in it for me that it was just so so supercharged and people are going nuts over it whereas it's probably just a simple um simple screw up um and then there's like this whole thing around oh they're not being transparent what's really going on why can't they just she just can't come out in public and explain what's going on even though as i understand she did like because she had surgery and had to be off for a couple of months or whatever and it's just crazy it's i don't know it's, is it an emblematic of today's social media pumped society or something but it is been because we haven't seen her so i find this i find this a fascinating case of modernity so firstly there has to be something going on okay first rule of social media not that i've been on there for a long time but if you're alive you're posting something and in the modern uh socials it's all about photos so the fact that kate has not um posted any significant photo post this alleged surgery is significant. So you can make up a thousand reasons as to why I'm not going to speculate. The fact that she has not posted an image is significant. The fact that this not posting an image for so long has built up to viral proportions, people ask the questions and put pressure on and there was one very grainy, hard to see photo of her in the back of a limo preceding the fake or, or the adapted photograph, I should say. There's nothing fake about it. I'm sure it's all real. <laughs> they probably should have used the pixel because it probably would have given a better result. But, but, but Kate didn't piece together that image is the first thing. Because as, as bad as the errors were, there was still a professional job, kind of. And I don't know where we go to from there. What was the motivation for sending out a dodgy image? It's not a good look, and now it's just going to add to the speculation. I would have thought, and, and you know this as well, and we come from the real world of cinematography and image even if she was sick whatever was going on you'd think it'd be pretty easy to f sit her in a chair in the garden or something like that and i don't know or get an image of her so for some reason she's gone quiet could just be a personal preference like mine that she's decided she's sick of it but it could be something else and that's what's driving the whole world mad well, two things on that. One, the first one, a side point. Um, given that all this posting that's going on to social media by everyone and them doctoring photos to make them look as great as what they can, so you can look up a million bucks on um, Instagram or whatever. Leave that aside as like that's the <laughs> what's going on most of the time anyway. It kind of then also highlights, um, I guess, the role of um, 
the monarchy and individuals that are in that um, uh, are in that setup that they're kind of saddled with um, you know the fact that they're not um, I guess the, there's words being labeled as being accountable because of um, their uh, public uh, position you know where, how they're getting funded etc and that um, it's um, not enough for like I wouldn't be surprised if um, you know she's just had enough and just wants to have a break for a, a couple of months or something but that might not be a luxury that she can have in the position that she's in um, and in the sense that if they're um, part of that institution like it all ha- like it's so cr- so ma- managed to a micro level you know in terms of how they're perceived where they're perceived what they can and can't say um, etc cetera, etc cetera, that that might be a component of it as well that's kind of um, aggravating the whole thing Oh, I totally agree with you. I think I think that the royal family made it quite clear that Kate, when she had her surgery in January, whatever it was, they made it quite clear then she won't be back till after Easter. Now, I guess for the rest of us, all, all, all us normal people in the world, if we told our employer that, i.e. that the public or whatever, I'm off on sick leave until then, probably everyone would accept it. And as long as you didn't start uh, posting photos of yourself in, uh, you know, a tropical beach in Thailand or something like that, you'd probably get away with it okay. Kate's done the reverse, probably thought, look, we haven't said anything or we've we've said I won't be back till Easter and I'm going to take that time off, you know, like sick leave, like any, any uh, you know, workplace health and safety uh, team would, would the direction they would give you and she's taking her entitled <laughs> sick leave off <laughs> and it's backfired and then probably they've panicked and they've pulled together an artificial photograph a bit quickly and and now look at the mess they're in so it could be as simple as that i hope it is as simple as that but you know you, you can draw a direct comparison we've seen stars go missing who had very high profiles in the past and you know then you know they post a photo and everyone goes that wasn't taken then that's six months old and then they have to come out with a photo of them holding up today's paper which in today's deep fake days anyway they they fake very easily these days so you, you know this applies to anyone who has a huge social following and where there's interest if you, if you don't validate your existence on social media as Kate hasn't for a for a month or two speculation is bound so it's it's fascinating this is real science technology and culture all bundled up into one and it just happens to be a story about kate uh middleton at the moment 